Well, Corey is with Junior Archers gearing up for a world championship. Yeah, hey, Corey. Hey, good morning, ladies, and it is going to be a fun morning for these guys. Uh, this is the archery. It's not a club. This is a sport here at Arate School, uh, home of the Chargers, and uh, George Portillo is with us as well. You're the coach of this uh, crowd. I have never seen so many youngsters uh, get themselves uh, into an archery club. Uh, this is pretty impressive. It has been. It's been really great seeing these kids. We uh, I keep calling it a club, but it's a sport. Right. We've had... Um, we started off with a very small team last year when I started coaching. We've grown into about 50 kids on our team. Um, they've worked really hard. We've uh, we took third in state. Um, our middle school team did. They took. Uh, we went to Utah. They took ninth in nationals. It's fantastic. Yeah. And now For we're such in, a young uh, a we, young crowd. From fifth grade to twelfth grade is what we do. And we've got uh, our shot now. We're heading to Worlds, which is in Tennessee, and we're. Um, Trying to work on some crowdfunding, and it is an expense really for us, and seeing what we can do to to get these kids there. Well, it is a fun sport, and well, we'll ask some of these kids next time we get together. But in your opinion, you know, when you, what attracts a youngster to you know, archery? You know, I think it's these kids aren't aren't your normal football players or baseball. You know, the sometimes the big team sports tend to these kids tend to shy away from them because mm -hmm. they don't picture themselves sometimes in there and it's, a lot of it it's just not having the courage to do it because they can accomplish anything and they've shown that but archery it's kind of a one-on-one -on -one. Um, we do have enough kids that we participate as a team as well so um, just once they came out and tried they've seen that they've uh, really enjoyed it and done really well gotcha well uh, we've got uh, Maria Lip with us and uh, Maria oh here's your boy by the way introduce him to the world this is Devin Lip yeah, Devin. Now, go ahead and honk Devin's horn. Uh, tell me uh, a little bit about him, and then we'll watch him shoot. Oh, my goodness. He's an amazing kid, first of all. Um, the <laughs> My eldest. And he is very dedicated. He spends a lot of time um, helping coach, first of all, with uh, the younger kids. Tell me how well he's doing. He Well, he's going to Worlds. So yeah. <laughs> what else can I say? I mean, he definitely is is uh, performing at his best in the team. Yeah. He also plays football, so he's sure. multi, uh, playing multiple sports. What do you like about this sport, Kevin? You uh, can be doing anything. Yeah, I mean, I like the mental aspect of it. Yeah. You know, it's hot out here. you got to keep a steady hand. He might mm -hmm. not be shooting well, but you can't focus on that. You mm -hmm. just think about your next shot. Well, we see uh, everyone's uh, kind of re-racking over here. Let's walk over that way. Uh, Maria, how can people at home help your team get to worlds it's it's not cheap and every, every team needs to travel somewhere how can they help you guys out well we have a gofundme page uh mm -hmm. to ensure that the entire team can go it's very important to have um everybody there that will you know ensure that the team is very cohesive uh -huh. so it shouldn't they shouldn't have to worry about funding their trip they just have to worry about performing well so we have a gofundme page mm -hmm. uh where people can find us and how much do they need how much do you need to raise we need to raise at least six thousand dollars okay and um, the gofundme addresses uh you can look it up with the keywords arete goes to worlds and a-r-e-t-e -E. goes to worlds gotcha yes all right hey these arrows aren't going to pick themselves up <laughs> chop chop what are you waiting for your servants to come by and pick up all your equipment let's get out there well next time we get together uh I'll see if I can uh, hit the bullseye. I, I love great. shooting, but I do it about once every four years. You've got a lot so, of influence yeah. over those kids. They, yeah. uh, they, they step to it really they quick. They listen well, to you. Yeah, every kid responds to chop, chop, I've noticed. But look at this. <laughs> chop, chop. Look at this. Just like Squanto used. Wow. I mean, that is, that's a compound bow with no sight. So we'll see how I do. Serious I'm not business. We believe in you, Cor. Yeah, I don't know if. I don't know if we're going to shoot the plastic deer or the plastic <laughs> javelina. Which oh, do you want? Javelina. Yeah. I would yeah, there's deer. a bear in the middle, but I, I like bears. I think I'll go with the javelina. The bear Perfect. comes there, chasing you. It's not like there's a javelina shortage. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, just get rid of it. Mill, do you eat, <laughs> would you eat it, you think? Take it oh. home, bring home the bacon? You know what you never hear? <laughs> if you could Google the phrase "havelina roast," yeah, it does not appear. Zero yeah. results. So Maybe. I don't Corey, know. Zero results. <laughs> yeah, I guess if it were an emergency, yeah. it would be right behind octopus and possum for me. Oh yeah. Probably.
Probably. Well, that I'd put octopus in that list. <laughs> Cord, thank you. Great job out there. Sure. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Corey's live with these uh, archers who are headed to a world championship. Yeah, they look pretty good out there, too. And Corey's going to pick up a uh, bow and arrow himself and give us a uh, demonstration of mm. maybe how good or how easy it is or how extremely difficult it is, depending oh, on how it is. It's not very easy. And if you're if you kind of move your thumb at the wrong place, I think you can actually tear off your ear or something like that. <laughs> so be careful out there. Oh, here he is. He's staring that javelina down, is he? Yeah, there he is. All right, buddy, we'll see you in a few minutes. Nice throw with that arrow, by the way. Well, Corey is with Junior Archers gearing up for a world championship. Yeah, hey, Corey. Yeah, good morning, ladies. They are off to Nashville. Yeah, this is the uh, varsity squad from Arate. Uh, some of them look pretty young, but boy, are they accomplished. And yeah, this is the face of modern archery. They are off to the world uh, championships. And by the way, if you want to help them get there, their GoFundMe page can be found by just type in the phrase Arate. That's A-R-E-T-E. -E, Arate goes to worlds. And that'll take you right there. You can help them out. Uh, now... When was the first, how old were you when, when you shot your first arrow? Do you remember? Uh, yeah, I was 10. And how old are you now? 10. <laughs> that's usually the way my interviews go. <laughs> uh, that's great. What do you like about this sport? You, you could be doing anything you want. Well, yeah, it's fun because, like, it takes precision, and it's fun because, like, you can forget, purchase your own bow and you're shooting stuff. Yeah, yeah. Get your own equipment, and you really get to know your, your own bow for sure. Now, let me ask this. You're going to Worlds. That means... Plane flight, hotels, the whole thing. Um, if you had to choose someone in this crowd that you would not want to sit next to on the plane to Nashville, just just who would it be? Um, A lot of choices. Well, I would. Who would you most want to sit next with, next um, to? I don't know. Maybe someone new on the team that I haven't met as oh, much. Don't give me that brochure answer. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let you off uh, easily on that one. I can tell that a lot of wheels are spinning here. Well, you guys, take your places, and uh, we'll see some of your good stuff. And, George, you must be pretty proud of these guys. Uh, How many competitions have they gone through to get to the world championships you know, we, in Nashville? We shoot uh, several throughout the year. Um, we shoot with NASP, which is National Archery for the Schools program. There's about 2.2 million kids in the program worldwide. Wow. So uh, we shoot... Um, at least one tournament per month um, for a state qualifier. Uh, and our season typically goes from September till, well, it's still going. So it's uh, almost a year long sport. Boy. So lots of shooting, lots of, you can see the targets or yeah. we're needing new centers. We, uh, <laughs> You're going to need to like go that. fund me for some, yeah. uh, some new targets for sure. And if you've got a child at Arate who wants to get on the team, when, when do they join up? How does that work? Uh, they can join when they're in fifth grade. Mm -hmm. um, so we go from fifth grade to twelfth uh, grade. Um, so as soon as they hit fifth grade, they're able to do um, what we call a beginners. And that goes over all the safety, the pieces of the bows, the um, different aspects of archery. Um, and then by the time they're in sixth grade, we feel they're ready to compete. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to set them up to, to really struggle with it. This has to be fun first. Sure. And so... Well... Obviously, they're having fun, and as Tom swings his way down uh, toward us, I, this is an amazing pattern here. Uh, you've been concentrating on the bear here, is that right? Yeah. Uh, what's your name? Mary. Mary. Uh, that bear doesn't stand much of a chance. That grouping, <laughs> I'd say within five or six inches, you've got every arrow in there. Who, who, are there other archers in your family? No, it's just me. Really? Yeah. Well, very impressive. And your friends are doing a great job here on the javelina. Um, I guess I guess it's my turn. Uh, we're going to wrap things up here. If you don't mind, I'll take this. Uh, George, you hold this. Okay. And Does anyone have an arrow left? Oh, let's see. Let's see how you do, oh. buddy. You're, you had a great shot earlier. Oh, well, you're very kind. I think what I'd like to do, bring a, come over here, George. Mm -hmm. The microphone's a little nearer to okay. me. What I'd like to do is perhaps... Um, give this deer uh i don't know right in the ear i just want to pierce its ear okay all right that's we'll a pretty small we'll target that. normally the kids have to run give him an earring shoot it in the head, so. we'll oh well away. i don't want to injure him i just want to give him a little decoration oh man this looks like trouble stand by Oh, oh right almost. I think yeah. He, I, I got think his chin whiskers. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> well, come on over here, you guys. One more smile for the camera, and congratulations on your advance to the World Championships in Nashville. Remember, the GoFundMe page can be found. You just type into your browser, Arete goes to worlds. That's A R E T E. Arete goes to worlds. Knock him dead down there, you guys. Have fun, and we'll see you all soon. Looking great. Yeah. Way to go, kids. Congratulations to them, and good luck on raising some money. So I know. Good let's, let's send them to worlds for yeah. sure.